Hi my lovely viewers. In this video, I'm going to share with you some of my thoughts about uncertain time. What if I tell you this uncertainty time is a great motivator? During this period, you will start to learn how not to take things for granted. When you are able to do that, you will start to cherish every moment of your life. My name is Esti. I'm a Singaporean living in North Sweden. I'm a proper forager. If you are new here, consider subscribing. Imagine tomorrow you will not be able to brush your teeth in your own bathroom. I used to think that the sound of the electrical toothbrush was very annoying. Not anymore. For so many years living here, I'm not a big fan of spring cleaning. But this year, my perspective changed. Who knows, I may be on a run tomorrow or being forced to flee to take safety shelter. And all this thought hasn't been helpful for my mental health. Instead of feeling worrying and scared, I put focus on cherishing time that is left. Some of us can cherish moment being alone, enjoying the peace and being with someone can even be more memorable. We are stronger together. We need each other help in order to move forward. By helping others, we are actually building a network. A network of people that support each other. Right now, I'm standing at the port waiting for my friends to come with a boat. She said her husband has caught plenty of fish and she couldn't finish it so she thought that I could have some of them. This is networking. I feel so blessed to have friends that really cares about me. This is really good for us. Now I don't have to spend a single cent on fish for the next two months. Most of our garlics are imported and I predict that it's going to be expensive in the near future. So recently I bought quite a lot of them and I asked LG to help me to peel them so that I could freeze them. And uh, it should be able to last us for at least 6 months from now. This rubber tube is very easy to use. I use them to remove the skin and as you can see, it's so clean, right? Condiments like this, you can buy them in advance and freeze them so that it lasts a long time. And as you prepare, you'll find that you are less stressed out and more in control. Due to the food shortage and inflation, I think it also made me realize that when we cook, we could actually save quite a lot of money just being creative. These two dishes is made out of a 400 gram ground beef. So this is basically just eggplant and ground beef and I have this egg dish with uh, ground beef. They call this way of cooking meal extender. It means that you use just very little meat with other cheaper ingredients. This enables you to feed more people and the food will last longer. These are some of the meat extract from a salmon fish head. I have made a broth with the pressure cooker so the flavors is more intense. And without slow cooking, I save energy too. And here is my lunch under two dollars. Do you remember the Chinese sausage I made earlier? Here is another example of a meal extender: fried rice with sausages. I'm barely using two of my precious sausages, and then I add a bunch of other condiments like fried egg and frozen vegetables. By cooking this way, I make sure that my food is not only delicious, but it's also nutritious. I also stop using too much oil when cooking. Because nowadays oil are disappearing from the supermarket store shelf. And finally, the rice. This dish is very good if you have leftover rice. 
this will not only be filling but also save you tons of money as you can see the ingredients are pretty simple and basic and you use very little meat I think I probably be making more sausages because I find that they are very good because you don't need to have a fridge or refrigerator to store them you can just air dry them and the air in Sweden is very dry so it's perfect to make uh, Chinese sausages some of you guys written to me asking me how I make these sausages. I'm going to include the link in the video description because usually I attach the recipe together. And planting your own vegetables, adding them to your meals will not only save you money but also very nutritious. I also realized that soup is actually really good for health and it's very filling. These are the leftover from my previous lunch and I also add a little bit of Chinese dumplings so the LG is more satisfied and full before he go out to work in the garden. When I buy meat and there are some leftover fat or skin, I'll make lard because they are actually more delicious uh, when you use them for cooking than using normal cooking oil. This is one good way to extend your condiments. During this uncertain time, it also made me realize how precious food are. I noticed we have more respect for food nowadays. Every drops matters. <laughs> I noticed also that instead of using one meter of toilet papers to wipe your ass, you can actually reduce on that. It's good that LG recently installed this kind of uh, pipe uh, tap so that we could use water like the Muslim do. Now we don't have to afraid of drowning out of toilet paper. In my previous video, I mentioned that it is very important to have fun too. Recently, we are out with the bike again. As you know, petrol price is not cheap these days. So if you have a bike, it's much cheaper to travel with them. This way, we could go many outings without worrying the cost of the petrol. Today, we are driving around just see if we could find any free campsite. And after one, two hours, we found this beautiful site where we could camp. This kind of campsite are built by the local villager. The villager maintain this place. So it is very good if you could contribute a little bit of money so that they could keep this place up. The amount is really up to you. If you find this place is worth money and is well maintained, it's always good to contribute more. This one thing I like about Sweden, no pressure. And they also have this, uh, we call that grid stug, it means a barbecue house. This is a house where you can find a wood stone uh, barbecue pit. And usually they are located indoor and they have all these tables and chair where you could take out if you are going to organize a small party and you can find some burning wood in this kind of house usually they are stocked full of woods where you could use and also some WC these are eco WC without flushing water <laughs> After living here for 24 years, I still cannot get used to it. Sometimes I rather dig a hole in the forest than using all this toilet. It's quite eerie and quite scary, I find. Usually before the season, they will clean it up. So yeah, we'll see if they do that. <laughs> So if you can see, uh, the fixture is very simple and this is a simple way of living but the view is magnificent. They also built some playground for the kids so they don't feel bored. I would say that this place is relatively uh, well maintained and with just a little fee, what more do you ask for, right? 
this kind of campsite is quite popular among camper with a caravan or RV. If you wish to contribute, you can put money inside this box or pay by Swish, the bank app. And you see, they even have information in English, Swedish and German. Usually we have quite a lot of German people like to come because it's safe here and it has this water boiler where you could put water inside to boil so that you could wash dishes with hot water. If you don't have a sink like this, you probably have to go down to the lake to wash. But I think this is better so that the water will flow to those areas that is supposed to be there. I heard in Germany, you hardly find this kind of a small resting house uh, with barbecue peat and woods where you could pick for literally nothing. So this is really good. If you just want to spend a weekend to camp this site. And look, we still have some snow on the water. There are no running water, so if you want to take a shower, you can just hop inside the lake to take a dip. And I think there is a changing room there. The water is pretty cold, but as you can see, they are quite clear. This can be a great experience for those of you who never swim in cold water before. This is not only good for health, but it's also very refreshing. After that, you can sleep like a baby in your van. A lot of campers, they like to come to these kind of places because usually they are more well maintained and they have this kind of facility where you could uh, take advantage of. And the Swedish lakes and sea, you could fish for free. You can fish as much as you want, as long as you want. Look, such a beautiful day, right? Would you like to camp here? Let me know in the comment. And soon, it's time for us to move to the summer house. This is where I recharge my energy. On my next video, I'm going to show you how we prepared the summer house to live for the next 3 months. Give a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you in my next. Have a nice weekend. Bye bye.